Hi everybody, I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. We start off with a hug. Let's get the hugs because mm, the lawyers are coming. Chris Harrison, who is that host of The Bachelor on ABC and Sharon Osbourne, The Talk on CBS. They are getting their lawyers ready. Over the past few weeks, we've had to deal with incidents. Chris Harrison, there was a racial incident on The Bachelor. He co-signed it. He says, what did I do wrong? I don't understand racism. And it's like, dude, where you been living? Then you had Sharon Osbourne. The whole Harry, Megan, Pierce Morgan, how she talked to um, Cheryl Underwood. Oh, Lord. It, They've gotten lawyers. Cause I'm, I told you, and I said this early in the week, she wants millions to leave. They should just end the darn show. The ratings are not good. That when This ain't the talk. They should just end the show because I don't see how she could come back. But they're going to have to pay her millions to get her to leave and to go on with the show. At the end of the day, with the bottom line, is it worth it? Chris Harrison is, is upset because the next two series in that whole Bachelor, Bachelorette, it's going to be two bachelorettes this summer, this fall. He is not hosting. Will they ever bring him back? Or are they going to wait till things die down and bring him back next year? But something to look for. Uh, Tyler Perry, I've got scoop on his new BET Male Exotic Dancer Show. It's coming this summer to BET Plus. Ten one-hour episodes. After Christian Keys, hey Christian, he wrote this book called Ladies Night, and it's based on his book. Eva Marcel, beautiful woman who, America's Next Top Model, she was one of the housewives. She plays the head lady. She's running a joint. All the queen's men. The inside working, the dancers, the fellas look amazing. For the first time, Tyler's not going to be directing episodes. Or he's got other people directing and producing. He, I'm sure his hand is in it because it's at his studio and that's his, you know, name on it. But, you know, Tyler does everything himself. But now he's kind of stepping back because he has other projects to do, including a Netflix thriller that he's going to be doing. But this for the first time that... He's going to be working with. There's con other consultants on the show, but there's a lot of excitement. They're filming it at Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, and we're going to get a chance to see it this summer on BET+. Plus. Morgan Freeman, Alfre Woodard, Trevor Jackson in common. They're coming together for a new movie that Morgan Freeman has wanted to do for a while. He is producing it. It's about a blues man who doesn't want to retire and continues performing on the road. Kel Mitchell, Keenan and Kel, Good Burger. We know Keenan doing well. Saturday Night Live. His movie Keenan show Keenan, Tuesday nights, 8:30 on NBC. But Kel has not had it so great. His ex-wife and wife of I don't know if it's a child or children. Who she's gone public. He is behind one million dollars in back child support. And spousal support. So if you woke up this morning and you're saying, I had a bad day. No, you didn't. He was like a million dollars. That's what you call having a bad day. Had the Queen of Soul lived, she would have been 59 today. And last night wrapped up the final night of Aretha Genius. If you said, I've heard so much about it. Patty, you've been talking about it all week. It's streaming now on Hulu. Courtney B. Vance was something else. I was like, Angela Bassett, go get your husband. Courtney B. Vance is an amazing talent. When you watch them as Johnny Cochran, wait till you see him as the Reverend C.L. Franklin. It's a tour de force acting performance for Courtney B. Vance, who really sunk his teeth into this. If you haven't watched it or if you watched it, you know why the Franklin family is upset about this miniseries. The final hour was amazing because it showed why. She's the queen of soul. Her music, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s. The amazing, and, and she, she was. There were a lot of stuff going on. After Luke James played Glenn Herman, you had uh, the singer Major played Curtis Mayfield. There was a scene where 
Aretha, that had to be the year 1976 when Sparkle came out. Curtis Mayfield produced this project for Aretha. She thought she was, she thought she was a shoe in to get a Grammy. She's sitting there. Everybody think is she going to win? Child, they gave that Grammy to Natalie Cole for a sophisticated lady. And Aretha was. Now, I also mentioned she had a problem with other women. And she was mad and said, she may be pretty, but she can't sing. Y'all know Natalie Cole can sing. Natalie wasn't one of these old fake singers that just put up there. No, Natalie Cole could really blow. Just listen to her song, I'm Catching Hell, Our Love. She has some good stuff. La Costa, the Natalie Cole could sing. But it just it just goes to show you the contrast with her sisters. Aretha outlived everybody. Her sisters, the brother, the dad. An amazing story. I'm telling you, I was not expecting to get so wrapped up in this miniseries. I was just going to tape it and go on and catch it. And if it wasn't good, you know, just to kind of keep people informed Eight hours. It had eight good hours of my life. Me watching it. Very interesting. You got. You guys got to let me know what you think. Uh, the Jennifer Hudson version of Aretha Franklin's life. Respect. That comes out in theaters in August. Tina Turner's documentary is this Saturday night, everybody, on HBO Max. It should be good following her career. From the beginning, Ike Turner years, leaving Ike, brandishing on her own, her solo career, retiring, and really having a lot of health challenges, including cancer, she had to get a new kidney, stroke, her son committed suicide, just a lot. We're going to get to see, who is the woman? Who is Anna Mae Bullock? Tina Turner. That comes on Saturday night. Also Saturday night, we got to tape a lot of stuff, y'all. The NAACP Image Awards, where Eddie Murphy is going to be the big honoree. As of yet, still don't know who's hosting this show, but you can catch it on BET and CBS. They've been giving out awards all week. Michael Jordan's documentary, The Last Dance won. Steve Harvey won. Uh, best Game Show for Celebrity Family Feud. Jamie Foxx won. Animated for the movie Soul. You had Trevor Noah winning for his work on The Daily Show. So awards have already been given out, but Saturday night is the big night and Eddie Murphy is being awarded for his career work. And Maya Rudolph, who does great impressions of Kamala Harris, Donatella Versace. She was a, a member of Saturday Night Live for a long time. She's a comedic actress on her own. The daughter of Minnie Riperton, the mother of four, is going to be hosting Saturday Night Live on Saturday night. We gonna be busy because next week we got the Mahalia Jackson story. There's just so much. There's just so much. But Auntie is going to keep you informed. Have a great afternoon, everybody. I love to say it's not cute, not knowing. Give us a thumbs up. Tell people the channel is growing. I want to do something when we finally get to 40,000. I like a slow growth because it means that people will stay, that it's not fleeting because you'll know that Auntie is here. Um, leave a comment. I look forward to speaking with a lot of you because I'm not wrapped up in that doggone mini series, so I got some time. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I'm your Auntie of Pop Culture.